All right, you guys, I just got here. I'm at Thrifty Bargain in Yuba City. Yesterday, I tried to go thrifting. Well, yesterday, I did go thrifting. I drove an hour, over an hour, and I realized that my SD card for my camera was in my computer, so I didn't end up being able to film yesterday, and I only ended up grabbing one little blouse. I'll show you guys that for this haul as well. I'll throw it into this haul. I wanted to make a video for you guys, so now we are thrifting today, too. So, two days in a row, which you guys know me. I'll go shopping every day if I could. I'm trying to see what's on sale today because they have colored tags here on sale every day that rotate. So let's go inside. I'm checking out the coats first and I saw this little bomber. I don't know, it's kind of cute actually and it's 25% off so I'll try it on I guess. I've been seeing people pick up all different types of vests lately, not only sweater vests, but also like suit type vests and then denim vests as well. And so I might want to look on Pinterest for some inspo to see if I could style this cute. I don't know how to like naturally style it. So we'll try to look up something. I spotted this little sweater. I really love the color of the knit and the stripes. You guys know I like the colorful stripes, but I don't love the Dolan sleeves, so that's a bummer. I was hoping it was just a normal sweater. I found this little cute like tying front blouse. I really like the print, it's from Cabby. And I actually saw this last time I was here. And so I was hoping it was gonna be on sale today, but it's not, so I'm gonna leave it. But I actually tried it on last time I was here and it was really cute. <laughs> I like that mixed media print. found these little adidas. I feel like I could wipe them down. They look a little dirty, but I feel like I could clean them with the magic eraser, but they're not my size. I also like these Lucky brand kind of like mules. Oh, those are my size. Those are cute. I found this big oversized Sherpa jacket. It is a green tag, so 75% off. And I feel like it looks pretty cute. I like the style of it. It's super oversized. I feel like it could fit Everett. <laughs> Here it is in the mirror. It's like super oversized. I kind of like the Sherpa style and those like big utility looking pockets on the front but it's weird because the material, I think it was sewn wrong and the material's like twisted on the inside. Let's see if I can show you guys. Like look how it's sewn. So it's like sewn all twisted. So it is kind of weird. I had found this really cute little like sheer long sleeve top that had this really cute little like beading on the neckline, but I just saw that it has a paint splatter right there. So we're not going to take this one, but it was really cute with all those little like beads and I feel like it's a very fall print. I'm going to check out some of the like housewares today because I have extra time and I found these silk pillow cases, so I'm definitely going to grab these. I also kind of liked this velvet one, but there's only one. What is this fun little puff? What is this? Like a little outside stool? $20? It's all torn up, darn it. I love that. That'd be so fun to just put outside for someone to sit in our outside area, but since it's torn, I'm gonna leave it behind. But super fun and very like boho, super cute with like all these rhinestones, but it's just not in the greatest condition. If it was in good condition though, I'd consider it. I don't know about you guys, but I personally love cane on furniture. Everett's not really a big fan of cane, but if this was a whole set with a table, I would totally take this and like DIY it. I'd probably paint it white and then keep the cane. I don't know what it is about it, but I just think it's so nice and like a retro look. I'm really into it, but just the two and I don't have a space for these guys. I 
got all my stuff. Got some sale stuff, got some stuff for Everett. Just picked up Everett from Starbucks. I'll show you guys the haul when we get home and I wash it. Bye. All right, you guys, I'm back from the thrift store. I actually filmed that thrifting portion back in August, so it's been quite a while since I went thrifting and I almost forget what's in this bag. <laughs> so it'll be a surprise to you and me both. First thing, I'm pretty sure I showed you guys this when we were in the thrift store and I was kind of going back and forth, but ultimately I decided to get it because I knew it was on sale. It is this really cute kind of like silky bomber jacket and I love it because it's in this really pretty like rose or floral print with a bunch of green. I don't own any bomber jackets, but I have noticed a few that I've pinned on Pinterest that were kind of like untraditional ways of styling a bomber jacket. It was originally from Wet Seal. Let's go try to style this one up. All right, you guys, I hope you guys can see me okay because I'm just using natural lighting. I decided to put the bomber jacket just over this like lighter colored, like moss green. It's kind of like the same color family, but a little bit lighter, so it's not super matchy matchy. And then I added this little Adidas hat that I thrifted recently. For the bottoms, I decided to go with these kind of like off-white cream colored Levi's that are a bit of a wider leg. I don't know if you guys can see. absolutely love this. I think it's super cute. And I'm glad I ended up getting it because I literally almost put it away, but I'm really into it. It's not super thick and warm, so I think it would be good for transitioning from this like summer weather into fall weather. Or it would be really cute also paired over a hoodie. I've seen a lot of girls pair these cute silky bombers and also the robes or like kimonos, they put it over a hoodie. So I think that that could also be another really cute styling way. I think that would look really, really cute even paired with this hat. I'm gonna show you guys both of these at once because they're kind of similar. I have been obsessed with the whole sweater thing, sweater vests, suit vests, um, jean vests, all of it. I actually ended up putting that jean vest away when I was at the thrift store. And looking back at the footage, I really regret it because now I've been looking for one just like that. So wish me luck that I find one like that. I figured out how I'd style it, but I did put that one away, but I did find these two. So this one was in the little boy section and it is just one of those little like suit vests or what do they call these? I'm blanking. Waistcoat. And this one was $2.99. And then I also got one more in the little boy section. I have a bunch of the oversized sweater vests, but this one is a shrunken one since it's child. This one was 99 cents. I couldn't say no. So let's go try these little guys on. All right guys, here is the little boy's gray sweater vest. I love it. I feel like it just is almost like a tank top, but sweater vest. So I really like the shrunken size. I also kind of like that it is a little bit more like high neck. This style is just such an easy, trendy little top. I know it's not for everyone, but I've loved the vest thing going on. And then once it gets a little bit colder, I'll throw it over some button ups and it'll be really cute and preppy. Perfectly on cue, it's Everett's snack time while I'm filming. So we hear some crunching in the background. That's me. Blame Everett. It's really hard to work at home with your significant other sometimes. I'm leaving. I'll see you guys in a second. I'll be back for you, crackers. <laughs> okay. Here is the waistcoat. So yeah, this is just an easier way to kind of like dress down the waistcoat so it doesn't look like you're wearing like suiting, you know what I mean? It's just kind of like a tank top. I think it's adorable, I love this trend. I only have a few more things, you guys. Moving right along, I found this and I immediately gasped because I could just tell that it was gonna be good. I mean, I haven't tried it on yet, but I feel like it will. It is this BB dress right here and it's in this chocolate brown. It has this like shimmery material, so it has like little glittery flakes in it. And then it is like a ribbed knit. And then it has the cute little like V-neck with the polo collar. And then what I also really liked about it is it is longer, so I feel like it's a good transition for the fall time. Okay, let's try it on. Oh, and then I thought I'd pair it with this little accessory right here that I found, which is a metal belt. It is gold. I love metal belts, and look at that little um, clasp. I just thought it was like so fun. I hope you guys can see me. I'm really losing light here, but here is the cute little BB dress. I love it. I actually thought that it was gonna hit me below the knees, but it hits me right above, which is perfect. I paired it with the cute little belt. Just kind of like draws in the waist. Paired it with my medium brown cowgirl boots, just to give it a little bit of 
I don't know, something else to the outfit. Really, really into the brown trend that has been going on and is gonna continue going on into fall. And to transition this into a little bit colder, I'd probably just throw over like a duster cardigan, a really long one, or I could always add like um, some cute tights. Last clothing item I ended up getting was this robe. I think from the men's section, I'm pretty sure. It's really big. It was only $3.99. And I like to wear robes around the house, but like you, but like I've told you guys several times, I also like to wear robes almost as like a kimono. Actually, honestly, I'd probably wear it with this outfit that I have on right now. Like I don't think that this looks terrible. I actually think it looks kind of cool. Let me look in the mirror, hold on. But I also thought it would look cute under a hoodie. Um, I'll insert a picture right here of the inspo that I'm talking about. This girl is wearing like a kimono over her hoodie. And I just thought it was such a cool like street style, different way to wear. You guys know I'm always thrifting robes. If they have a pretty print, I'm into the robes. So if I've had extra time recently, I have been getting into reading. And so I got these two books. I've heard that they're great, Girl, Wash Your Face. I haven't read it, but I've heard that people like it. And then this is Girl, Stop Apologizing. I think that they were like $2. So I got those. And then I also found this one. It's called Dream Big Journal, Weekly Wake Ups to Help You Reach Your Most Ambitious Goals. And it's like a little journal with prompts in it. It was cute and nice, like a cute little inspiration journal. No one's even used it, so. All right, you guys, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. I felt like I did pretty good. I didn't just buy like a ton of stuff just to buy it. I've been really, really trying to limit myself unless I cannot. <laughs> All right, love you. Bye. Bye, 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 bye. Do, does this look cute with this? I feel like it does, right? I don't know. Okay, bye.